FPV. Welcome back to the next episode on the Skywalker X6 where I will go for some training flights, tuning flights and get this thing dialed in bit by bit to make it rock solid as it is supposed to be. Currently we are launching and you can see in the amp droid that it isn't that hungry for power at this point while launching and climbing. That's because I did a modification on the prop so I changed the prop to be a 9.5 inch by 7 inch prop which seems to not demand so much power but in the, on the other end won't give that much power itself again. So we are cruising here at 13, 14 amps, that's a bit high I guess. But for launching with 17 amps, that's pretty nice. Another thing you will discover is that I zoomed the DVR footage in a bit further than usual. Um, that's because we want to look at the stats and uh, look what happens with the setup while flying. So please don't uh, expect too much high-res footage, although it is in 4K and comes from a high-def camera. Just uh, let's concentrate on the flight and the wing itself, how it is dialed in and what I do with it. While we are circling around the area here, I have uh, the common habit to tune into auto-tune mode to just let the flight computer get an idea of how the wing behaves. And you can see um, the thing with the flaws, they are pretty present. The VTX is a bit crappy. Well, I will tell you about that later. For now, we will just uh, continue and look what we find and uh, cruise around a little bit and I'll tell some more about it. At this point, I want you to take a look at the artificial horizon. I found it to tilt too much to the one side, so I started to auto trim it in order to get it straightened out. Although I didn't figure that at that point, I guess it's just the horizon drift which I know comes with still and uh, well, it was more or less present and I think I can't remember the effect later on, so uh, horizon drift and I tried to trim it out. On we go with the next floor in the setup and this is of course the setup of the battery. If you can look at the OSD, you can see the blinking thing in the left hand side. Um, it's just telling me your battery is low, get down or I'll get you down. Well, <clears throat> that's not really true. Um, the battery isn't drained. We're flying a lithium ion pack, if I remember right. And especially the one from the Harrier, uh, which is a 4S2P6000. Uh, uh, you know, perhaps a lithium ion pack is at its end at perhaps 12 volt, even at 4S. So we are pretty much uh, still fine with 40.8 volt. The flight computers just don't know it and gives alarm. Well, yeah, the thing is beeping all the time. It makes me mad. <laughs> a part for me in every flight on a new vessel is just to check the flight modes if they are operating right. So currently we are in horizon mode, which I use as a stabilize uh, alternative, and that looks pretty good. And if this looks pretty good, then we are ready to do one thing and one thing only hit. RTH. That's happening now. And gently the wing slides over, heads home and descends. Well, a little bit too much perhaps, but it does its job and it looks good. Yeah, yeah. Let me show you my settings and the adjustment tab, um, which says landing or RTH altitude mode is <coughs> at least and linear descent. That means it will take at least 100 meters up in the sky and linear lineary descent to the home point. And that's pretty nice because that will save you a lot of power in case you're running low on that. Um, just gliding a little bit more instead of just saying, well, we are here and now we dive down. The thing is when you change over to something smart like a brand new VTX, which offers smart audio, then you're fine to go with 25 milliwatts of power. That's good, no problem with that, but you see, I'm not that far away and the video just breaks down on every turn. That's pretty annoying, especially if you use something that has a good fixed power output and powers all the time with, let's say, 600 milliwatts, which is of course totally illegal, but was pretty common back in the days. And yeah, no, I didn't. Uh, well, we're flying on 25 milliwatts, so that's annoying. <laughs> Enough said, I guess. Okay, now we are going to descend and go over to uh, trying to land that thing. Um, 
If you're starting off with a big wing, then you are perhaps known, uh, used to something smaller and you can easily estimate how far you have to go and where you have to go to get right down. I can't with the X6 by now because it's new to me. <laughs> okay, so here I just dive down and try to get at that altitude where you just can let it slide on the grass. And uh, well, it doesn't go so well, does it? So I went over to just make a flyby and uh, maybe it does the tower, which ended bad because people are shouting at me. I didn't see the horses in the back, nope, and they thought I was just skimmed their heads. Hmm. Not the good impression to leave, right? No, no. Anyways, um, that was my bad. I feel really sorry and shame, ashamed of that because scaring up horses is not my kind of style. No. No. We have to come along each other, the people there, and me with my wing. So yeah, uh, it's about respect and uh, have respect for animals and people. That's priority somehow. Well, I was about to land, and as you can see, I'm not that high above ground. And try to take my circle to get deeper to don't be that fast in about 80 kilometers an hour like I did last turn. Uh, we break up side winds. Uh, well, hmm, yeah. Everything is new, I feel a bit um, hmm, yeah, nervous, so I try to get the wing round. You see, the cows beneath me don't give a crap about me, doesn't matter. Um, same as before, respect, and uh, well, yeah, you, you got the thing, I guess. Um, let me turn in and uh, try to glide in. I want to get through those trees, you'll see in a second, and um, get down, but um, yeah, it will take me another turn to get that right altitude to just slowly glide in, make it smooth as I wanted it to be. So here we go, enjoy! Yes, that's it for this flight. Next time I will take you to another test flight, which is another another day, and with other flaws. And after that, I guess we are almost there for the real stuff. <laughs> As usual, thank you so much for watching my content. It really pleases me to see that somebody reached the end without skipping. <laughs> anyway, take care, everybody, and fly safe.